What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. FGC is in the house. Big shout out first things first to Ethan Swan. He says, yes sir, here for another banger. Love the vids, great content. Fish guy Chris on another level of content. Yes, I am on another level. I am cranking it out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy all the videos I'm posting. I'm gonna be posting a lot of just cool things like the Robbie's video when I went to the Keys. If you guys haven't seen that, go click and check it out. That is a different video. I've never done something like that before. I had a blast filming it. And uh, I'm sure whoever watched it really enjoyed it because it's really, really cool stuff, what I got to do in the Keys. But today, I'm at the Fish Warehouse, but we're not gonna be spending it in the Fish Warehouse. We're gonna be spending it, we're gonna be spending it setting up the FGC tank in my room. Yes, the official FGC tank is going in the room. Um, it's happening today, but I'm gonna do something different, something I haven't done before in a, ever. I have never done this, so I'm gonna take you guys along the journey and we're gonna set this thing up, start to finish, and see how good it looks at the end. But the mini pond and the pond minnows are doing terrific. The mini pond is just running flawlessly. The minnows are doing great. Yeah, the minnows are doing just terrific. There's so many of them. And then the bigger pond, all the minnows are fine. Doing terrific again. You got a bunch of them here. There's, there's a lot. There is a lot of minnows in there. So if you guys haven't seen us catching all those minnows, go check that video out too, because it was a good one. Now, now follow me to the FGC room, because that is where the magic is happening today, ladies and gentlemen. It's going down. Rousey, are you being a good girl? Rousey, are you being a good girl? Yeah, you're being a good girl. Forrest. Forrest, you being a good boy? You being a good boy? Just had to make sure they're being uh, good dogs. They're both very terrified of the cleaning lady that is here, so that is why they are hiding and cowering. Now the lighting is actually atrocious in my room, so I'm gonna get that fixed, but this is where we're going today, right there. See that corner, this little space? You might say, hey, where uh, is the tank? Where is everything? I moved it outside because I am doing something that I've never done before. I'm excited to show you what it's gonna be because uh, I think it's gonna make the tank look 10 out of 10, best tank you'll ever see in your life, that good. It's gonna be amazing. We gotta move some stuff around here first because we need some room here. Also guys, leave suggestions in the comments of what you want the decor to be. I know, I did a poll right here and Star Wars is actually winning. You guys wanna see, um, I, I think I wanna do like a combination of everything, but then have a little, a little Star Wars in there. Come on guys, let FGC make an awesome tank, okay? I'm gonna do, I don't know what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna make a Star Wars, I'm gonna have to fucking build some shit to put in there. But who, I don't care. I'm gonna make this thing look really, really good uh, because I wanna show you guys an awesome tank. So let's start building this FGC official room tank. Let's do it. One more thing before we start building. If you guys wanna see a second tank going in my room, let's get this video to 1,000 likes because I, I have the tank stand that can go one on top, one on bottom. So I'm thinking, do you wanna see a double tank stand setup? Let me know by dropping a like on this video. Let's get to 1K likes and I'll make it happen. Now let's start. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as I was saying before, see? That right there has room for a second tank. Now, the reason why we are outside is because I'm not using a background. I am doing something totally different that you've never seen before where I'm going to use a painted background. Cross your fingers, FGC is not a painter. I will do my best for you though. Well, actually guys, I take that back. I am a painter. Me and Jack actually painted this ourselves. We followed a Bob Ross tutorial and this thing turned out beautiful. As you can see, there's my signature right there. So uh, yeah, I could sell this for $500,000 on the internet, but I think I need to save it. So I am a painter. So I'm not sure how exactly good this is gonna look, but let me show you what I'm using today. First things first, I'm going acrylic paint because uh, that's what I heard the best. I did some research and said the best to use was just acrylic paint. So I'm doing black. Now the reason I'm doing this is because the paper backgrounds always fall off. There's always a pain in the ass to tape them. I'm just gonna paint this thing and call it a day. It's gonna be so much easier to look at it like that. And it's gonna look absolute kick ass. Black background, white sand, Star Wars theme in the inside. Wow, I think that's a dream FGC tank. What do you think? I think that's gonna be terrific. Now I also didn't get any rollers because uh, Target didn't have any. So we're going with the classic. We are going with the $2 foam paintbrush. Look at this guy, that's a big boy. That's what we're working with today. Now let's just see, I don't even know if there's any prep, like I have to like do anything to this. 
I'm just gonna roll with it. I probably should clean it first. I'm a little nervous, guys. I'm actually very nervous. Very nervous because I've never done this before. <clears throat> Black background. I think it's gonna pay dividends though. I actually, I actually think it's gonna pay dividends because it's gonna look a lot better. No, I got black paint on my cross. <sighs> okay. Oh, let's see if FGC can handle paint, man. I mean, this thing this is a horrible design. I, how are you supposed to take this off? Terrible design. I need a knife. All right, here's our color. Wow, that's goopy. Didn't expect it to be that goopy. Okay. All right. I guess that'll do it. No, I also got non-toxic, so don't worry. This is not gonna be toxic to my fish. Do I just paint? Like, I'm so confused. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm using the big brush. This is gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? God damn it. All right. Let's see how it looks. First stroke of the brush. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to do multiple coats. Dude. This is gonna look so good, dude. I am building the world's greatest 55 gallon FGC aquarium in the world. Mark my words. I like this way better. Would you look at that, guys? It is coming along. Now, I'm definitely gonna need to do more than one coat because uh, it's a little patchy there. So it says it takes like 30 minutes to dry. It's perfect, I got it all day, baby. This is exciting though, I've never done this before. It's gonna look way better than a stupid paper background that always falls off. Plus, you guys want predators in here. Freshwater predators like bass and cichlids and all that stuff. Cichlids aren't predators, but they're dope. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this tank what I want and you guys will enjoy it. I mean, you're gonna like, I'm gonna make it what I like, but you guys like to. You know, if you know what I mean, it's gonna look kick ass. That's all, that's the one point I'm trying to say. I think my brush is hindering my ability because this thing sucks. Okay, that is the first coat. Let's go to the front and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm seeing this together just with you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is like really not the best, but check it out. That is gonna look so good when it's done. It's not even close, it's still really splashy, but that is gonna look ridiculous. Now, I don't know, what do you guys think about painting the sides also? I don't think so, because I like to be able to see the fish on the side. So you know what, I'm actually not gonna do that. But I see a lot of people, they do paint the sides. Uh, I'm not a side guy, I'm a back kind of guy, you know? So that's what we're gonna do today, but I think it's gonna look so good when it's done. Gotta keep putting on some more coats, gotta wait for this one to dry. Then we're back with the second coat. Well guys, as you can see, I didn't wait till it totally dried. I gotta wait longer, so I paint, it just, wipes off and breaks apart the other the first coat so gotta give it some more time for this thing to dry but i think it's gonna look it's gonna be well worth it doing this extra step is going to make a difference i'm pumped now as we wait for that first coat to dry let me just show you the sand i got i went with the uh stoner river you know look at this big oh yeah this is a great bag of sand right here Whoa, <laughs> these are heavy. So I actually got two 20 pound bags. That's a total of 40 pounds of sand going in the tank for a nice thick layer of sand. So I'm just gonna bring this in my room so I'm ready. You know, when the tank's ready, we're putting the sand in. I think it's dry. Okay, look what I found. This could be huge. Found a roller. It could work better than the uh, foam $2 brush. So we're gonna try it out and see if it's better. I doubt it, but we'll try. Oh yeah, way better. Let's go, way better. This is where it's gonna be, guys. As I'm waiting for the second coat to dry, I just wanted to remind everyone, this is the wall it's gonna be on right here, like this, long ways. Now, I think it's gonna look absolutely kick-ass, so if you think it's gonna look good, drop a like on this video. Also, I think I wanna start a new series. It's gonna be called the FGC Room Series, where we just upgrade my room whenever we feel like it. Today's the first upgrade. The tank, it's getting installed. If you guys wanna see me upgrade my entire room, the FGC Room, 
into, I don't know, we, we'll figure out a bunch of stuff to do. I could put like nightstand, tanks, other stuff. I don't know what I want to do yet, but if you guys want to see the FGC fish room takeover, let me know by dropping a like in this video and we'll make it happen. I'll transform this room slowly over time and make it look like the ultimate man cave, baby. So if you guys want to see the man cave series, let me know. Now uh, let's go finish this tank, bring it inside and get this thing setting up. It's coming along, ladies and gents. Let's see it from the front. It's still a little splotchy. I don't know if it's gonna ever be perfect, but I'll do another coat, I guess. It's a little spotty over there on the bottom there. I gotta get back. Also, actually, I have to clean in the inside. So maybe it is the inside, see? See, that's not there, and that can rub right off. So I do need to clean the inside. Then we will judge it. Let me do one more coat. I'm gonna clean the inside. We'll see how it looks then. All right, y'all, I think that is going to do it. Now, there is some spots on the bottom here, but those will be covered up with sand, so do not worry about that. Now, all I gotta do is clean the inside. Let's bring this thing inside to the FGC room, see how it looks. I think it looks kick-ass. Now, you could see some little spotches here, but that's just because I gotta clean the inside. See all that white right there? I don't know if you can tell on camera. There's some white right here. See, that is on the inside of the tank. So, completely black background. The fish are gonna pop. Colors are gonna look so good. Now, how am I supposed to carry this by myself? Well, this is a Star Wars tank. I could use the goddamn force. I'm a Jedi mind trick and just do it. But uh, sadly, I'm not a Jedi. So, so let's get this thing in my room, get some sand in it, get some water in it, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do next. Well, would you look at this? The tank has made it into the room. We got the official first ever FGC tank in the room. It looks absolutely wonderful. Look at this. I get to sit right next to my boys. I get to sleep right next to the goddamn fish because I'm a fish guy. And that's what fish guys should do. So, as you can see, black background. It's so black that you can just see me through it. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm right here. What we need to do, clean this up. And look what I found, a cleaner. So, once I fill it up, I'm gonna clean it. It's gonna make, look, it's gonna look really good. Oh, I also got this. More cleaning stuff. So let's fill this thing up with water, get some sand in it, turn the filter on. <sighs> we got an FGC tank, baby. I hope y'all are excited. Let me know in the comments what kind of fish you wanna see in this tank. Let's do it. <sighs> no, that has a hole in it. We got sand. We got a lot of, we got a lot of sand. But look at this cool ass knife with like a sheet that I got. That is, that is cool. So this is what we're gonna use to cut our sand open. I'm not gonna rinse the sand because it says on the bag, don't rinse them. Wow, this thing cut like, cuts like butter. Oh my God, it's gonna look so good. Holy shit, I might not need this other bag. Dude, I might not need this other bag at all, guys. I should probably put this away before I stab myself in the neck and then uh, let's just say FGC will never post again if that happens. I don't need the other sand, but am I really gonna go back to the store and return it? <sighs> Ask my knife. This is the best knife ever, dude. I'm gonna use this on my car. Knife away. So sick. It's like a freaking lightsaber for my Star Wars tank. Lightsaber. Wow, look at this. That is a ton of sand. That is a lot of sand. That's the most sand I've ever had in a tank. Let's use this water bottle. Spread this sand out a little bit so you guys can see how it's gonna look. So far, so good. There's a lot of sand in this tank. Holy shit. I went overboard with the sand. But this is the, honestly, I'm not even kidding you, this is the nicest sand I've ever seen. That is the nicest sand I've ever had in any tank. Ridiculously good looking sand. It looks like a Sahara Desert. Perfecto. We got our background painted. We got our tank in the room. We got our tank on the stand. We got our sand in the tank. Water. Let's go get some water for this tank. We got our hose, baby. Kind of nervous, not gonna lie. Very nervous, because I have to turn the hose on, and what if this hose flings out? It didn't fly out, thank God. The hose did not fly out, we are filling with water currently. That feels really damn good. Oh my God, it's already clear, kind of. Like, it's not even that cloudy. I picked the right damn sand. Surprisingly, I thought I was gonna pick the worst sand in the world, and the whole tank was gonna be a cloud for days, but sand is really damn good. I'm pumped, look at this thing fill. Tons of options for this, guys, tons of options. It's perfectly clear. I've never seen that before. I've never seen sand this good. Look how much this hose is stirring it up right here. Just tossing that sand around and the tank is crystal clear. And the black background looks so good, dude. This looks so sick. Now, I don't know exactly what I want to put in this tank yet. Like I've said before, I want badass stuff, man. I want really cool stuff. I really have a feeling that I could make this a really cool cichlid tank where you guys want predatory fish. Can they go together? I don't know, I'll have to do some research. If they can do freshwater predator and cichlid or I can do the bottom one as cichlid. I don't know, I think it'd be really damn cool. But the first tank in the FGC room is coming along and the black, I can't believe how good the black background looks. It actually looks insane. I know you guys can't see because the glare. I will fix the glare, but like, look at that black background. 
it's like a mirror. This uh, is honestly the smoothest tank setup I've ever done, and I've set up millions of tanks. I don't know why this is going so well. It's kind of weird. Usually if it's me and Jack, we're flustered, we're pissed, we're angry. I'm having a good time setting up my FGC tank. Who knows, maybe I should put shelves up here, more tanks. Shelves there, more tanks. Shelve up there, more tank. Roof tank. If you guys want to see a roof tank, 10,000 likes on this video, I'll make it happen. Guys, I'm sitting here just thinking, um, I think maybe we're getting rid of my desk completely and we're just gonna put a giant tank there. This is corruption, man. One tank in the room doesn't cut it with me, dude. You need like 15 at least. My mind is racing. Let's finish this tank. She is all filled up, looking terrific. Take it out from the side, looks good. What's up, people? I'm in the mirror there. Look how good this looks. I left some room for over here so we can look on this side too. What's up? It looks kick ass, looks very good. The tank is set up, baby. Here we go. There she is. Now we gotta get the filter running, plug it in, and once that's good, we can do whatever we want. We can get fish, we can put decor in here, we can do it all. All right guys, we got our filter, we got our tank that is completely empty. We got our heater that I'm about to plug in and it is a perfect tank. We can do whatever we want with this thing. Let me know in the comments what kind of fish you guys wanna see. I don't care what it is. I'll do anything that you guys want, but I do wanna make it look really, really cool. That's my goal, to make this thing look absolutely kick-ass. So there she is, this is the tank. I don't know what we're gonna name her yet. What are, we, what are we gonna name the tank? Let me know in the comments. Betsy? What's up, Betsy? We'll name her Betsy. All right, Betsy the tank. That's my tank, Betsy. We're gonna put some fish inside. Very soon, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'm gonna look at the comments, see what you guys want. I'm gonna do some polls, see what you guys want, and then I will make a decision based off of that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next FGC episode. Peace.